What up guys, welcome to the channel. Uh, my name is something, 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 hit the keys in case this is your first time viewing. In today's video, we're gonna do a quick review on Tape Cassette 2 by Kalem Audio or Column Audio. I'm not sure exactly how it's pronounced. Um, it's available on PC and Mac, and it's a great alternative for RC20 color uh, in case you don't wanna spend the money to get that. Um, this does a lot of the same things that that plugin does. Um, tape to cassette is an audio plugin that emulates the warmth, noise, and character of old tape cassettes. Um, it's a follow-up to basically the first one that they came out with, Tape Cassette 1. Um, it's also a fire plugin. Um, they've made some upgrades and changes including Tape 1 cassette impulse response. Um, they added VU meters uh, right here and right here to help with monitoring of the audio. Um, basically, I just put together a couple of chords and a little drum beat uh, so that we could sample out the the product and you can see how it sounds um, on real audio. Um, so this is basically what I had put together. It's nothing big. All right, so the first thing that you will notice, I'm gonna go ahead and mute all those other channels. Um, but the first thing that you will notice is that it has uh, some different knobs down here that do different things. Um, so you have your saturation knob right here, um, which obviously it's self-explanatory. Um, it's got low pass right here. Um, the low pass goes from 5 to 22 uh, kilohertz. So that's a nice little range. So you can obviously hear that difference. Um, it also has noise here, which gives it that little um, background noise. Um. Um, it's got the wow. The wow basically gives it a wobble. So you're probably not going to obviously make it go up all the way, but if you do, a more power to you. Um, and it also has a flutter. The flutter is kind of like um, it's kind of like distortion. You have your oval over sampling up here. It's pretty easy to switch to. You just click on one of them, um, and it changes that for you. And then right here, it has the uh, the impulse response, so you can flip back and forth. And so you can hear the difference that gives you in sound. Uh, I'm gonna actually play another sound too for you, um, just so that you can hear some of the differences in a different sound. Um, and then also, it has a whole bunch of different uh, default settings that you can run through. Um, so that you can just click through those and bam, you got some easy settings. So I'll just play some background um, drums for you too while I click through these noises so that you can just hear some of the differences. So it's um, a pretty cool little uh, little plug-in. It's definitely a great substitute for RC Color um, if you don't want to spend that money. I'll just run through a couple of defaults um, and then we'll end it there.
All right, so as you guys can see, it's a pretty nice uh, plugin. I would definitely recommend it. Um, it could do a lot for you, whether it's for lo-fi or it's trying to give yourself some of that vintage sound or whether you're just trying to, uh, you know, um, put some more saturation in your noises, your sounds. It can do a lot for you. I would definitely give it two thumbs up. I would recommend it to you right now. Go ahead and get it. It can definitely improve your sound. Um, play with it, and I'm pretty sure you'll enjoy it. Appreciate you guys' time today. Uh, make sure that if you like this video that you subscribe, you hit the notification bell, and you like the video. Um, we also just started an animation channel. Um, it's in the the actual profile page. You can go follow that and laugh a little bit. Um, but appreciate your time today. See you next time. All right, guys and gals, thanks for watching the video. Uh, make sure you hit the subscribe and like button. Uh, make sure you hit that notification bell so every time a new video comes out, you can be the first to know. Uh, let me know what tutorials you want to see next in the comments, and see you next time. Some, some, some. Hit the key.